Well, it's official. 2020. 2019, like every other year, has been pretty good. 2000, excuse me, 2020 is now bringing us some snow. Right on cue. Lightly snowing, two to four inches today. Had a lot of ice the last few days, but really could use some snow. So, holidays are over. Gift certificates. And a couple of them were to uh, Harbor Freight, so Harbor Freight I went. I got a couple, couple things uh, with the gift certificates, and I bought a couple things for myself. Um, just a, my observation on tools. I have SK Craftsman, Snap-on, uh, Buffalo Tool Works. Um, a set of sockets. I can't remember the name of them. I use them all the time. I bought them. They were $99 years ago. Let me just read it. I can never remember the name of them. Great Neck. Right here. Uh, I have Cobalt. So, I see a lot of a lot of expensive tools and if you're in the business I got a friend who's in the business has a garage relies on tools to be worked hard all the time so yeah he needs the SKs the Craftsman's the gear wrench he needs those kind of tools I don't do that kind of work so I can get away with uh, uh, I get away with some tools that uh, that are a little off-brand uh, Funny part about these tool companies that are making these tools, uh, they've all stepped their game up uh, on sockets and ratchets. Um, I've got some Stanley ratchets that are awesome, great ratchets. So that said, I also have some Harbor Freight. I don't have a problem with Harbor Freight. <laughs> I like the place. I have a drill I bought. Um, I don't know what size it is, three eighths maybe drill, half inch. I mean, literally drilled frames with it, smoke rolling out of it, and it just keeps right on going. 39 bucks, how do you beat that? Can't beat it at all. That said, I bought some cheap tools, cheaper tools. I also wanted a dial indicator, and this comes with a, uh, there's a setup right there comes with a the gauge it's adjustable you can calibrate it um, hang on a the box is pretty pretty beefy on these the instructions nice little indicator now if you're ever going to attempt to cut a dry shaft and weld a yoke on uh, there's a lot of good videos out there. I wouldn't tell anybody how to do it. There's a lot of good videos. But uh, the way we used to do them is lay them on a uh, two by six, um, clamp down the yoke, get it pretty close so it looked like it was good and weld it. Now, you, I wouldn't recommend that at all. So I want to try to attempt to make a, uh, a little apparatus to, uh, to weld dry shafts. Now, I know uh, there's some of them that install them on the vehicle, which is a great way to do it. And they jack the rear end up and they roll it around and use a dial indicator on it and then spot tack it, take it back out and weld it. That's a great way. I'd like to do something with some rollers. I got a couple ideas and we'll see how that goes. So that said, I mean, 39 bucks for a dial indicator. You're looking for motion. You're not looking for how many degrees is it out. And, I mean, these are great. These are a great tool for checking rotors. Uh, but they're also good for like if you're going to attempt to try to build a drive shaft or modify a drive shaft. 
uh, most places, including the guy I buy my steel from, he sells dry shaft tool, tubes. You can buy a new tube and put your ends on it. There's a couple places around that do them, uh, you know, but uh, I'm trying to do stuff on my own here as much as I can, you know, so keep buying and things that will help me in that that aspect. So, so that's that's what I did. That was, that was the, the gift I got for me. So I did get... I did receive some some pretty nice mounts on my for gift cards for there. So I wanted a few things that I've never had. I've worked with guys that had them. This is a Bauer. This is a uh, deep cut saw, hand saw. Worked great. Like if you're working outside somewhere and you want to cut something nice and even. Instructions, owner manual. Oh, comes an extra set of brushes. Now, you don't see that every day anymore. That's cool. So, you know, it's just a bandsaw. Wanted one. This was 235, marked down to 134, and then I had a coupon, and I got it for $90, $99. Um, I do have a few of the power equipment. I don't have any problem with them. They work pretty good. So the other thing that I got that was my, this one, this is, these two things are the things I bought. So I've also, I have a chop, I have a chop saw, but I don't have a band saw. And let's see if we can read it right here. One horse, four by six, horizontal, vertical metal cutting saw, band saw. So I got that and I got a couple blades. They don't come with the blades. You got to buy the blades. Blades are pricey, but I'll put that together and then I'll I'll show you a video of it up and working. So uh, uh, it does not have an oiler, but I have an oil can, and you just put a couple drips of oil on it once in a while. It's got it. It'll cut fine. Same with drill bits. I mean, my drill bits don't aren't self oilers, but I keep a little uh, a little can there of oil, and I keep oiling them, and then it you know it really extends the life of the. Uh, the drill bit, a little bit of oil on that blade will keep that blade from running too hot. It'll extend the uh, extend the cut on it. So, yeah, Christmas was good this year. I must have been a good boy. Must be it's snowing. Maybe we'll get some. Oh, it's, yeah, it's still snowing. So, we'll get some work. So, happy New Year to everybody. Uh, got a bunch of projects. Jordan's truck. We'll be moving along shortly in the next couple weeks on that. Um, next couple days, I got some welding to do on this in preparation for putting the Cummings in. Uh, I got to fill this hole in where uh, the, the fellow that had it before had to cut this out. Actually, I cut the hole bigger to even it out, but he had cut a hole in here to um, to put his oil filter in. Uh, this this uh, motor that was in here before the oil filter, I think it was a 390, and the oil filter was to the rear. He put a 351. It was here. He had to cut a hole here. And then move the, uh, the mounts. Uh, this was kind of set up for a big block, so you had to do a little bit of stuff. So I'll grind this off, get this back flat, so we can modify it again to fit the uh, Cummings. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do when you want to put something together. So, uh, and this is where the brace slid in from side to side. Originally, you cut that out uh, and moved the brace for the rack, uh, the, for the, excuse me, the radiator support forward. So. Um, yeah, so a little bit of welding there, so I'll get to play with the welder a little bit, and then uh, as soon as I guess, I guess we're going to try to set the motor in, and I'll, I will build the motor mounts, and Jordan will set the motor and transmission in, and, and uh, put some new motor mounts on it. So that, uh, this gets done, the 67 has got to come in and finish the roof, uh, the roof repair, so I can put a new vinyl top on it and get the body work done so that I can get painted before it goes down for the new vinyl roof. And that'll be it on this year for that. We'll put the tires and wheels to that and that car is a pretty good driver anyway. And then uh, the rat rod will come in and I'll change the rear end on that. And I will try to get the finishing touches on that so it's a, it's a daily driver in the summer when we need it. And I'm looking at the floor and got my hand over the microphone again. Sorry about that. They put the microphone on the corner on this camera and I keep getting, I keep getting myself into the, uh, into the uh, microphone covering up. So if it was muffled, it's my big fat fingers over it. 
Sorry about that. But uh, iPads, that's all I use to film on. And I know uh, a lot of people use expensive cameras, but I've had really good luck with the iPads. And then, of course, you can edit off these anyway. And I'm going to learn how to do a lot better job of editing because right now I kind of shoot, uh, go over it in my head what I want to do and shoot the uh, shoot it without doing any editing. I want to get into uh, making my videos a little more presentable. Okay, again, Happy New Year. And uh, we'll see you soon.